We have Elise Rothrock here on behalf of the Media and Communications Department here at Village Management Services. Well, hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Thanks good. for having me. Well, you're welcome. I, I know we get to have your presence in our studio at least once a quarter. <laughs> So exciting. So um, this time around, though, we're not just talking about the Village Breeze, but you took a trip. So tell me about it. I did. I went to Hawthorne uh, to go on a press check at mm -hmm. Lithographics, the company that prints our magazine. Okay. Um, I had never been there before. Uh, I get what they call soft proofs, which are mocks of what the magazine is going to look like for every issue. Okay. Um, just so that I can check the color, uh, make sure that everything is printing the way that it's supposed to, all those good things that make the magazine look so good. Okay. And, you know, wow, what, what an enlightening experience it was. It's, it's a huge facility, and everyone there is just so talented and professional, and, you know, it's no wonder that The Breeze looks so great every month. It's because of them, so. Well, it's awesome. Now, it, we did show some pictures of the facility, and that's a huge warehouse, and, and is that all of our magazines that we see, or is that somebody else's magazines? They do a lot of, of printing for other companies. Okay. Uh, they guess Apple, uh, wow. lots of, of higher-end uh, clientele, mm -hmm. but they do a range of printing for all kinds of customers. Okay. And their warehouse is 250,000 square feet. Wow. And I believe they are the largest privately owned printer uh, in the West. Well, they've been around a really long time. They and have. super familiar. They have. They've yeah. been around a long time. They're right across the street from SpaceX. Um, oh, fun. So they've told me that it's maybe next time they'll try to arrange a tour <gasps> for me when I go. I'm like, oh okay, my. sign me up. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I wonder, have they all been over there, I assume? Oh, sure. Oh, that's yes. awesome. That but is cool. It was, it was a really great experience. Oh, and uh, I got to meet a lot of the people behind the scenes sure. that I've worked with. Um, yeah. And it was, it was a great trip, and they do such a great job. It must have smelled pretty interesting in there, too, a lot of ink. Yes, it's very, <laughs> very distinctive. You know, once yeah. you leave the administrative offices and you go downstairs into the actual underbelly, the workings of everything, sure. definitely, it's... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a, a picture we're about to show is, is the um, actual printing press, I believe, that has the, the uh, pages on it where is, is that is that what that is or is that where they do the cuttings or what do you think they have a lot of different areas where they do the color check oh, and well, then that that. That, right that would be color check and okay. then they have a different area where they do the trimming and the binding of the publication and everything okay. like that and that was that was great to see too and what is the picture on the lower right it's like a welcome sign for you yes <laughs> they have they have these little lounges when oh. uh, clients come to visit. <laughs> And they just put a little marquee in the window. So I thought Aww. that was cute. That is cute. <laughs> I love that. And then, of course, all of the hard work that you guys do to create the content, right, and then they're the ones that actually do the physical uh, magazine, creates uh, this beautiful front page for us. And it's adorable how you guys chose the little bunnies, which kind of is a blessing and a curse at the same time, <laughs> right? Because you don't want the bunnies to eat your flowers, but they're adorable when you see them. Right, right. And yes, this is a photo taken by resident Jerry Sears. Okay. Um, you know, as you know, we have a lot of very talented, creative residents. Uh, do. And Jerry has submitted photos before. Okay. And um, I just thought that was so appropriate for spring. And it, it, it is so cute. It is, darling. <laughs> and Jerry... I'm sorry, where are you? I have not seen any of your photos. Please send them to Laguna Woods Village TV at gmail.com so we can include them for our sunrise and sunset. So I'm glad you uh, mentioned that. And yes, we do have talented photographers, and I really hope that they send in a lot of these really amazing photos that they do take. I do too. You know, Mark Rabinowich is another great yes. photographer. He's done a lot of our covers, um, and it's just by happenstance. He's like, hey, I took this photo. Do you, would you like to use it? I'm like, yes, it's lovely. Thank you. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Great. Yeah. So what's in what's in this one? I mean, you guys always have some great stories. In this issue, we have a profile on uh, Pastor Rick Bradford, oh, who yeah. does the, the Saddleback Church, the, mm -hmm. the campus here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great story, and he, you know, a great guy. Um, we also have. Um, a feature by uh, a doctor from Memorial Care, okay. and it's about heart health and some new techniques to keep your heart healthy. Okay. And that's a great, it's a great little short article. Uh, we have an article uh, written by Judith Troutman, who is a VMS director, and she's also a volunteer with the Disaster Preparedness Task oh, Force. Yes, we're going to have her on. They are looking for um, good neighbor captains, okay. so it's kind of a, a rundown of what they do and how you can volunteer and uh, why it's such a great program. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an article by Joan Milliman, who's the secretary for GRF, mm -hmm. and uh, her the she uh, works with Thrive. And oh. this article is about how you can make conscious choices when you wake up in the morning that can make all the difference right. throughout your whole day. Exactly. So I think it's called Start Your Day the Thrive Way. Oh, six that's six ways morning self-care can make all the difference. So Exactly. Um, and the last feature I want to call out, and, and this is really great, uh, the foundation of Laguna Woods is having its silver anniversary this year. Wow. It's 25th anniversary. And Marcy Scheinwald, who is the president of the foundation, uh, wrote an article all about it. And oh, it's nice. such a great story. It's such a great foundation and all the work they do for residents here. So I want to make sure that... Uh, that readers take a close look at that because it's just, it's really heartwarming. That's nice. Well, you know, they do a lot of work, like you said, where they raise money for lots of different things mm -hmm. here in the village and helping individuals as well. So, yes. all right, well, excellent. We look forward to uh, seeing that. How, how soon are we going to see it? So you should be seeing it sometime this week. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for the information. I appreciate you coming on and sharing your tour. That's so awesome. It was. And thank you so much for having me. As You're always, welcome. it's a pleasure. And if you go to SpaceX, I'm going to be so jealous. <laughs> I'll take <All> right. pictures. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll be right back after this.